Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Dan from On Top Marketing and today I'm going to teach you how to track contact form 7 conversions in Google Ads. So the first step is you need to click on this little wrench icon up here where it says tools and settings and click on setup and then go to linked accounts. When that loads you want to click on details under Google Analytics and as long as you're using the same email address for your Google Ads account as you are for your Google Analytics account, you'll be able to just come in here and click link. Now if you're using a different email address for Google Analytics, you need to log into that and share access with Google Analytics to this email address that you're using for Google Ads. Click on the link button here and then select both link and import site metrics to on and click save. The next step is to track form submissions as Google Analytics events. Now the code for this is in a blog post that's in the description, you can go in and copy it. And there's two different types you may need to use. If you're using the G tag, um, Google Analytics tracking code, then it's this one right here. And most of the new, if you've recently installed Google Analytics, you'll probably be using G tag. If your site's using an older version, instead of changing everything over, you can just go ahead and use this code right here. Now, before I carry on with this, something I should point out is if you do have multiple forms on your site, this code's going to track all of them as the same event. Now, if you're trying to track specific forms, Jeff in the comments, uh, somewhere along here, actually said, uh, actually told us how to do it. And I used this on a client's site recently and, uh, and it does work. So this is how you'd do it. Uh, take a look at Jeff's comment, as I say, from the 25th of February 2019 for how to do it. Now, if you're not sure which version of Google Analytics you're using, the tracking code, all you need to do is right-click and go uh, View Page Source, and then either do a search for GA, and keep hitting Enter until you find it. As you see, it's not on here. So if you then do a, a search for G Tag, you can see right here, okay, we're using G Tag. So, the next step is that we actually need to get this G tag code in our header. So if we copy this and then go into FTP, open up our themes header file, and paste it in just above that WP head there. Now I'm actually going to get rid of these script tags here, this closing and this opening one, because this can all go inside the same script tag. So I'm going to remove that and then I'm just going to indent this in a little bit just to make it neater. You don't have to do that, but it's just a nice thing to do. Now save your file and re-upload it back to the server. After we've re-uploaded the file, we can test it's working by clicking on real time and then go into events. Then go to our website and actually go to a page that has a contact form on it. Fill out your form and submit it and we'll see if it shows up in analytics. Submit your form and then go back to Google Analytics and scroll down. If we wait in here, we'll now see, here we go, straight away, event category contact and event action is submit form. So that's exactly what we passed through here, the event. So we got submit form, event category, contact. So we now know that that's working. We now need to capture that event as a goal. So click on this gear icon down the bottom and then click on goals on the right. Click on the red new goal button. We then want to select contact us if that's the most relevant one. Scroll down and click continue. Where it's got the goal description, if we just put in here, um, submit form. And then if we select event from here and click continue. Right, now it's asking us what the category is, the action is, the label is, the value is. And this is what we actually just set in our header file earlier. So if we look in here, we've got that the event category is contact so where it's got category if we put equal to there and then if we've got submit form here this is the action so if we copy that and go back to analytics and paste that into action uh, leave this as yes unless you you know because if you say no you have to put a value in which we don't have so say yes to that um, you can click verify this goal if you like but you know it's not going to say anything because we've only just done it so click save so now we've created our goal here and it says it's recording. If we go into the real time reports again and go to conversions, now when we submit our form, we should see it show up in here. So it will show as an event because we're still tracking it as an event, but it should also show up as a, as a conversion. If it doesn't, then you may have something set up wrong. You may have pasted the fields into the wrong one, but it's always worth checking this at this point. So go through now and check exactly like I am. I'm gonna check on a different page just to make sure. Okay, so that's the form submitted, and as we can see right now, it says there's one active user on the site, 
submit form there we go and there's our one so if you get that one come up in there and you can see it moving along here that the uh, that, that the the conversion has, has, has been recorded then you know that that's working all we have to do now is import that conversion into Google Ads so click on this wrench icon up the top and click on measurement and then go to conversions next click on this plus icon and go to import click on Google Analytics and then click continue it's going to give you all the ones you've set up in here um, as, as a conversion in Google Analytics. We've only set up one so we'll only see this. If you just click on that and then click on import and continue. And it now says that we've imported the one goal from Google Analytics. You can click on done and that is literally all you have to do. That will now track conversions from Contact Form 7 in Google Ads when you're running your Google Ads campaigns. If you like this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.